so you're getting a moister area the moisture is coming out of the mound and then it's the moisture comes down into the moisture area so having this variation in topography drier areas moister areas is also adding to that habitat heterogeneity allowing more species to exist within a more diverse landscape and allowing the movement of species back and forth many times when I'm, I'm out seed collecting I notice one year a ditch will be completely black-eyed Susan two years later suddenly it's all blue vervain the next year it's all Joe pieweed so without that variation in the species composition and allowing in the steed bank that it's producing in different years you have different conditions and, we, and it allows for those species to occur in that area and if you don't have a wide range of biodiversity if you choose a very small subset of those species you may not be having that full range and allowing for the, the natural movement of species and the natural succession to happen back and forth and it's just constant play constant movement